This is Air Raja, a 64 foot semi traditional narrowboat built by Keith Wood in October, October 2004. Air Raja, I'm led to believe, means Water King in Malay, and her livery and colours are based on designs by Frank Lloyd Wright. I'm neither an expert in his work or Malay, but there we are, that's what I'm told. She's a nice boat, she's been lived on for the last few years. Into the well deck, we'll start here. The locker at the front in the bows there is just storage, the gas is at the back of the boat. There's a couple of lockers either side. And going in through the front doors, you turn right, there's a balustrade here. You turn to the right and then down the steps. There's a floor to ceiling cupboard here on the left as you enter. It's quite handy for wellies at the bottom and wet shoes. And down into the saloon, good size, 16 foot 8. There's a sofa here with storage underneath, and that table collapses under the gunnels, and also the third piece there on the right under the gunnel extends the table the full width of the boat. She's fitted out an ash face ply with oak trim. The floors throughout are oak laminate, apart from the bathroom, which are tiles. There's a television there, a 20 in, 23 inch television DVD. There's a separate DVD player underneath. There's a Sony car radio stroke stereo under the television. And there's the washing machine. Lots of storage here. The washing machine's a Zanussi 1300 watt AquaCycle. The, the stove there is a solid fuel more so squirrel. There's a back boiler on that that heats the radiators and the tail rail on board. So into the galley. Horseshoe shaped. Huge side hatch here with inner glazed stained glass, a little fold up table under the gunnel, separate and additional preparation surfaces. It's quite a clever slide out cupboard here. Could tuck a microwave in one of these and there's a bank of three drawers underneath. There's the Waco 12 volt fridge with an ice box. Next to that is the Vanette full burner gas hob and the Midi Prima gas oven and grill. Stainless steel sink with cupboards underneath. Plenty of storage, everything you need. There's a draining board there as well, which collapses or folds down rather. W Galley. Slide, sliding opening window above the port side of the kitchen as well. On into the midship cabin. This sofa just unbolts and rolls forward and turns into a double berth. Six foot four double berth. Large cupboard here and next to it is a floor to ceiling, cupboard stroke wardrobe. Very useful space. You could do anything with this room, really. You could put a dinette in as a separate dining room. You could put bunk beds in if you have children. It could be an office or leave it as it, as it is. A radiator in here. And down towards the bathroom. It would be quite clever avoiding the mirror here. The full length of the port side is a mirror. There's a ceramic sink over the cupboard and a Thetford cassette loo. There's a spare cassette on board. Towel rail next to the sink. In the shower, it's a tiled shower area with a curtain. Sits over a bath. Bathroom's six foot wide. Out we go. All the windows after the galley are portholes in this boat. They all open. And into the main bedroom in the stern. The bed extends to four foot ten wide. She's six foot three long. That mattress just folds over. You Pull out the extension. You could, of course, if you don't want a bed that wide, just have a mattress to fit the baseboard. Useful drawers underneath. And a good size cupboard at the foot of the bed. With a locker and drawers in between this cupboard and the foot of the bed. Storage under the steps, 
leading out onto the stern deck. And there we go, just have another look at the bedroom as I attempt to go backwards up the stairs. There's a four kilowatt generator on board, that's in the engine room. You just press a button and it starts. The engine itself is a Beta 43. There are solar panels on board, keep the batteries topped up. The gas is on the left here under the stern locker. The locker on the starboard side is just storage. Hey Roger. For further details on a fully downloadable colour brochure, go to rugbyboats.co.uk.